Hey, what's going on guys? Comic Against the Year. So a few words about what, what am I trying to do now. So uh, I've discovered uh, the database of uh, CNC games at World CNC Federation site. And also uh, I've scraped the games uh, using Python Scrapy framework. So here uh, I already have uh, here uh, 43 southern items containing the games but the trick is uh, uh, that the games are stored in a quite pretty tricky format it's very rare technology to my to my eyes basically it's like from the previous century but still very interesting to deal with so if I just have a look uh, if we have a look at mm, at, the, uh, at the content so we see this uh, hitters and then I just I just skip them one by one so who is playing all the stuff so all, all this is uh, is about to be parsed as well but the most uh, so, so it's not a big deal to parse like the player name and uh, uh, all, all of these hitters it's not a big deal really but uh, what really comes uh, a pain here is to uh, to decode this sort of a converted uh, moves from the move list, and I've spent already a couple of days trying to figure out how exactly to decode uh, to decode this, and I came up with a two source code. So one is that uh, that comes along uh, actually when you call this JavaScript uh, here uh, when this. Uh, uh, Kind of iframe <laughs> they use iframes can you believe it when this iframe fires uh so and another from uh, it's just literally literally it's clone from github so one, one over here but they they are literally the same so i find uh, the actual function with that source code that takes a move string uh as the first argument and i don't know what's the second one it seems like some sort of a decoder there but I just want to show you how this works in particular, which already gives us an opportunity to uh, bulk convert this to uh, a notation first into this Chinese-like notation. Okay, sorry, a bit a little bit distracted. So we can. So you see, this moves here. Uh, yes, I know they are in Chinese. It doesn't make much sense for uh, for Western people, but uh, we can already convert. Or we can map the Chinese characters to uh to like westernized characters it's not a big deal but even better right also the numbers now now, now i finally uh, realized why they use either uh chinese characters here or uh western characters here uh because it's relative from the side to move so anyway we can extract this notation by converting uh the move string uh like this into the actual move notation. And I just want to demonstrate you the proof of concept, how it works. So here uh, I've been experimenting. So uh, within the source code, we have this constant of uh, P. I have no idea what does that mean, but, th but this is just a constant that is used to decode the move string like this. And this move string contains of uh, several moves like, uh, like uh, I mean like four digits represent a single move. So just to show you how it works, uh, I wanted uh, let's let's try this one. So we have this game, uh, and this is the first move. Uh, so uh, yes, I think yeah. The, the the this is the source code. This is the source code for this iframe. So let's take the first move from the move list and copy, and then going down below here. And call our get move string and this move. So we have, uh, I can't read this, this is probably canon 2. Uh, uh, this, this, this means like go, si go sideways to 5. Well, the, the, uh, the, this character uh, is replaced by the equal sign. So canon 2 equals 5. That would have been in kind of Western notation. And this is the exact move, canon 2 equals 5. What do we got here? So let's have a look at the next move. So knight 8 uh, goes forward 
uh, to the rank 7. So if we just try another one here, so take the second four digits, we get this one, copy, and I just want to paste this one in. And we get this knight 8 uh, goes forwards to the rank 7. Which literally means that we can traverse all the moves string game uh, line by line. So let me just grab the next one. Uh, so no, not not from here. I'm sorry. Uh, so knight eight goes forwards to seven. Okay, knight eight go goes forwards to seven. Uh, then knight two goes forwards to th to the third rank uh, to the third file. Yes, it sh should be called file, I believe. So now we'll match this string. So if we just take the next move, the next four digits here, copy, and we just paste them right over in here. Okay, so we have knight two goes to the file three, and so on. So this only single function get move list string uh, allows us to literally traverse the entire move list and extract the notation for for a game for, for whatever game so we literally can scrape this data and obtain uh, our own copy and we can kind of use it locally uh, well regarding the further re reusing of this data that might be probably converted to whatever format but just just to give you an idea why am i doing this so uh, i want to use this within my cnc uh, engine uh, so, at the moment I have uh, just an engine to play with online, nothing special, Also, but also I have a puzzle solver. Now the idea behind the puzzle solver, well, it's, it's quite pretty clear, we have some tactical positions to deal with, then if we solve we just go to the next one, and so on and so on. But uh, and and this uh, uh, and this puzzle solver relies on FEN strings. So in order to get uh, uh, so actually in order to add uh, add some new puzzles here, we need FEN strings. But generate but taking those FEN strings from generally from manually uh, typing that by hands from while seeing at the diagram, it's a little bit too long basically. So there, there should be some sort of an automation, right? And well, the, the best automation I'm aware I'm aware of is just you just take the PGN of the game, you just walk through the moves with a, with an engine, you just try to load all the moves into the engine, and then where when say there is a score like made in two for an engine, like in this case, so we have a made in two here and here, we get made in two score. You saw, you saw that it just it just changed, but again, like you you, you saw that that was just made in two. You just Watch here precisely, you'll, you'll see the made in two. You see, like, made in two was there. So, we can extract these positions containing made in two and extract FENs from them uh, automatically and populate and bulk populate this app I have here. And also, having a games to watch the games is also good because, well, at realist, I think this UI is a little bit more uh, pretty compared to. This one, even though I see like all the Chinese sites that regards to CNC actually reusing this dynamic HTML renderer, which is which is probably well, I, I don't think it's older than I am, but it's it's, it's around about equal. It seems like so it's quite pretty rare software. Uh, well, it, it's written really uh, really interesting in, in in an interesting way. I don't, I don't want to say that it's bad or something, but it's incredibly unhandy to use. Well, for me personally, at very least. So. This is the idea, and I'm going to. So first, I'm going to extract this move list from uh, from this database. Uh, if this works, we can then go even further. So this execute uh, DB uh, database is not only available here on uh, World Sensei Federation site. It's all. It has its own site where there are kind of much more games than here. So at very least, ju just for humans. Uh, and probably, I don't know, maybe some Chinese software like CC Bridge is also kind of making use of this notation. I, I didn't get me, uh, I didn't uh, manage to install that. And even if I do, well, this notation seems to be quite too complicated for me. Uh, and I don't really want to work with this notation. Instead, I want to convert the notation to uh, 
this like UCI format stuff. So I could see the moves like uh, just the coordinates. The, 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 this is much more can be uh, like convenient way for me to do to deal with the notation, and it's much easier to parse because this is engine dependent. So it's kind of like how the engine uh, internally uh, sees the moves and how he can convert the move to the coordinate back and forth. So this is incredibly uh, easy to, to implement basically. So let's say we, we can give an input in this uh, sort of a format and the engine would be able to view the game uh, in the live mode. So that's that's exactly what I'm trying to do at the moment. So I'm currently thinking about three apps in particular, like uh, I already have this viewer, uh, like puzzle solver, uh, play the game, and also the game viewer that would be uh, well, as far as I, I'm not using backend here at all because uh, just don't really want to pay for backend and no need for that in particular. So I don't know how big JavaScript file I can make in order to source uh, the games. Well, probably 40 thousands games is <laughs> a little bit too much for for a JavaScript file, but well, we'll see how, uh, how well it goes. So anyway, uh, maybe just have some selected games i don't know but uh having a games to uh, easy, easy accessible games I, I think that might be fun so and you know, like with this uh with, the, with with only this uh with this only single function we have here that i've that i've been showing you guys so this get move with string from, from the source code of, of this diagram itself uh it actually allows us to uh literally uh, decode the moves, the uh, it allows us to decode the move string, uh, the move list, into a human readable format and then be reused by humans. At very least, if you can, if if you even can't load this into uh, some sort of a software, you can just take a CNC board and take this notation and play the games on the board uh, with your hands. That's it. But I really hope to create some uh, adapter to convert uh, this notation to to this like. To this like suitable for my engine and actually being able to view the games as well well I have no idea whether it might be making some sense for anyone <laughs> for anyone else well let me know in the commentaries this this would be interesting uh, anyway I uh, yeah we'll probably just publish this the data that I've scraped uh, in this human readable format so maybe to be reused by by somebody it doesn't seem to be that big file really so it might be really interesting. Uh, I don't know, maybe like uh, a little bit longer term, mm, I don't know how to call it, result or idea, or pro probably trying to create the opening book or opening explorer from uh, from this data set. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Well, you know, without, without having the backhand, it seems a little bit awkward, but well, it's really hard to say. But anyway, guys, if any one of you is interested in what am I doing here, please let me know in the commentaries. And I really hope to now really get lots of stuff to do. So uh, I'll try to bring this to some sort of a state where we can, you know, uh, where I would be able to showcase uh, the work at, at very least the data set that where we will be we would be decoding this moves to uh, a normal human readable strings like like this here and here so this is it from my side <sighs> yeah this is it from my side guys so until the next time and take care